Completing the CFA program and becoming a CFA charter holder is definitely worth it, but not for everybody. So maybe we should say it's usually worth it. You see, it's possible to become a CFA charter holder, but then do absolutely nothing with the knowledge or prestige that that program brings you. In that case, spending years studying for and passing all three CFA exams would definitely not have been worth it. So as a CFA candidate or charter holder, it's on you to make the program worthwhile. Once you become a charter holder, in more ways than one, you'll have more responsibilities now. Not only from an ethics perspective, but also you owe it to yourself now to put all that information that's in your head to good use. It's on you to make all that study time worth it. Some people have said that the CFA program is not worth all of the time that it takes, especially since the overall pass rates are historically low, but I think the people who say that are not putting in the necessary effort or work to make the charter worth it. They're just not doing the things that someone would need to do to benefit society or investors or their firm or themselves that the CFA charter can sometimes allow. In this video, I'm gonna give you an honest look at all the reasons why the CFA program is in fact worth it, but also how in certain ways it may not be worth it if you didn't apply it well. The single biggest advantage that I think someone can get from progressing throughout the levels of the CFA program and ultimately becoming a CFA charter holder is that you will increase your stock amongst employers within the finance industry. I've made this point in a few videos now, and you could argue that it's a bit of a selfish take on the CFA charter, which I would partially agree with, but the reality is that there just is not all that much global public perception of the value of the CFA charter except to those who are already familiar with it. And especially if that potential employer is a CFA charter holder themselves, they will know exactly what it is you went through to earn those three letters and they're gonna have more respect for those letters than almost anyone out there. And many of you know this, right? One of the most common reasons that people have said they pursued the CFA program is to get a better job in finance. Maybe it's breaking into a certain role that they couldn't have achieved in the past or with a certain company that they couldn't have achieved in the past. Or for those people who are not working in the finance industry and wanna switch over from somewhere else, they will often pursue this charter to show that they have the background financial information that it takes to work in certain jobs. If you're someone who's not at all looking to change jobs or change careers, then you're probably gonna be missing out on what I consider to be the number one benefit of the CFA program. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing, I would put myself in that category in that I don't think I'll be switching jobs and so I won't end up utilizing this perceived value amongst hiring managers within the finance industry, but that's okay because there are a lot of other things to talk about here. In my opinion, one of the next most valuable aspects of earning the CFA charter is the additional income that you may be able to earn. This point sort of goes in line with the last one because in some scenarios you will have to switch jobs to increase your income to get to a new ceiling, but it isn't hard to look at the annual compensation surveys that the CFA Institute publishes and you can see that the average charter holder that has about five years of experience in the industry will make somewhere around $150,000 USD. The charter holders who have like 20 or more years of experience in the industry I believe were north of $300,000 a year in annual income. So it's fair to say that the CFA charter can certainly help in your future income potential. There's also gonna be a perceived value to the clients that you may be working with or investing money for. This would be especially true if you're running institutional money. So let's say you're working at a hedge fund pitching to the pension program of a certain state or department of a state. It's likely that the people working on the investment committee of that pension are CFA charter holders themselves. So think about it, if the asset allocators of a pension deemed the CFA charter important enough for them to pursue in their careers, it's likely that they're gonna want the people making the actual security selections, which could be you in this case, to also have that charter. If you work in retail wealth management like myself, there just is not gonna be that much notoriety from the CFA charter amongst the clients you work with. Again, they're not financial professionals. The CFA Institute does not do a lot of marketing to the general public. They may have heard of it before, but they're not likely gonna know what you went through to get it or value it to the extent that someone else with the charter would. What we haven't mentioned yet is the knowledge base that you would come out of that program with. You are going to know so much more about finance and investments, especially if you're able to get through all three levels and pass the whole program. In some ways, I've always felt like it's really cool just to know that you have such a premier level of financial education or investment education that 
in many lives you may have never achieved yourself and many other people on the planet, even those potentially working in the finance industry, won't even pursue in their lifetimes because of the challenge of earning those three letters. Now, it's not like you're gonna remember every single thing that you had to memorize or learn to pass the tests, but if you have to pull that knowledge back up for a certain project you're working on in the future, you're gonna be much more comfortable working with the information and could potentially apply it much more effectively if you have been exposed to it in the past through the program. And this point about the sheer amount of knowledge that you'll have coming out of the three levels is especially beneficial to the people I mentioned who may be wanting to switch from a different industry into finance. It would definitely be a nice feather in your cap if you were, say, working in engineering for five years, and when you started to apply to finance roles, the hiring managers knew that you probably had a more broad base of finance knowledge than even they do after working in the industry for 10, 20 years, whatever. Okay, now there may be a good argument to be made about some of the content of the CFA program not being worth it to have to learn for each individual who goes through all three levels. What I mean by that is, let's say you're interested in working in financial derivatives and you're working as a junior analyst for a lot of years, you complete the CFA program and become a CFA charter holder and you leverage that charter to get a promotion to trader. So now you're a derivatives trader in your career. If you work full time as a derivatives trader, it's unlikely that you're gonna use much of the knowledge you picked up on things like corporate pension accounting, or GNP versus GDP calculations, or something like calculating the net present value of a certain project that a company can undergo for a few examples. So there's some truth to that argument, right? Not every person who becomes a charter holder is gonna apply all the information they learned in the program to their job, which means that they're likely going to forget a lot of that information that they studied. But the fact remains that there is no better aggregate body of knowledge or academic program that is not only extremely thorough, but also extremely practical to real world financial applications as the CFA program is. I can tell you as a CFA charter holder and someone working in wealth management right now, I certainly apply some of the concepts I learned throughout the CFA program in my day to day work. Not all of it, but enough of it to make it worth it. Plus, I get to put the letter CFA after my name on my business card, which looks pretty good. We should loop back to this point that it is totally up to you as a candidate or especially as a charter holder to make the information that you learned throughout that program worth it. Again, think of it as a responsibility to yourself to not let all those years go to waste. Like if you were to do absolutely nothing with the charter other than put it on your name on the website, then those three or four or five or six or more years you spent studying might end up not being worth it. And that reality is why I say having the charter can apply a little bit more pressure to your life now, but that's probably a good thing. It's not like it's negative pressure, right? I mean, it can add a little bit of stress sometimes, but usually that type of motivation encourages people to make positive steps in their lives and their careers, and the CFA charter holder is definitely something that can do that. There's also something very significant to be said about what going through all three levels of this program does to you as a person. To be able to pass those three exams, you need to utilize so much discipline and focus in your study habits that it's very likely going to change you as a person. You're probably gonna be approaching things differently for the rest of your life. I've heard others say it before and I've echoed these comments. It takes a special person to be able to become a CFA charter holder, but not everyone who becomes it necessarily had to start out as that special person. I think even if you're someone who's maybe a little more lazy by nature, if in the first few months of studying for the level one exam, you recognize what you're really gonna have to do and how much more you might have to work than you originally thought, and you actually make meaningful changes based on that realization, you can shift yourself into someone who will have the amount of discipline and focus necessary to study enough to pass that level and then eventually the next two. So one of the reasons the CFA program is worth it is because it will change you for the better. And I know this certainly applies to my life as well. When I think about my time, now that I'm out of the CFA program, I'm often finding myself sort of comparing the amount of productivity that I'm having back to the days when I was studying every single night. When you go from studying very difficult academic material every night for the majority of the year for three years, for some of you four, five, or six years, and you become a charter holder, then you end up with more free time in the evenings and you do something like watch TV or play video games, you're gonna be very aware of how much less productive you are being now than you once were when you were a candidate. And that awareness can be really motivating. It can really force you to recognize how much a person can accomplish with the additional time that they have in the evenings or during the weekends or in the mornings, whenever it was that you were studying for the program. So for me, there are three or four things that I spend much more time doing now that help me grow in my own life, in my career, and in my profession. One of them being spending time making videos for this YouTube channel. I'm pretty confident that 
had I spent the first three years of my career doing something other than the CFA program and then later wanted to start a YouTube channel about that, I probably wouldn't have had the discipline to continue to spend 10 to 20 hours every week making and editing videos if the other thing I would have been doing instead of the CFA program wouldn't have required me to practice so much discipline that spending that much time working towards a certain goal seems beneficial and like the only way to live your life. It's not like it takes you over. I mean, you can still relax. Maybe it becomes a little bit more difficult to relax from time to time and that's okay. But I'm being serious here. It can shape you as a person and probably 99 out of 100 people who get through the program and think about how it's influenced them in their lives, they're gonna be pleased with the type of person they are now relative to before they started. So the CFA program is definitely definitely worth it to pursue. You just have to make sure that once you finish the program and earn those prestigious letters to write in next to your name, you're actually doing the things necessary to apply that knowledge or utilize it for as much as it can be. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, thanks for watching.